Frem the Oracle. Her prophecies have never been wrong. Her prophecies of the destruction of Zeta's Netherworld proves it. Frem has made a new prophecy. What will be the fate of the Netherworld? Alright, I'm gonna have to read a lot of this shit. God damn it. <clears throat> Frem, I heard you made a new prophecy. The scream that they're all gonna do is gonna be annoying as fuck now! It's very important for you, right? <laughs> Are you interested? Is this fine? What's gonna happen to me? Stop holding back, please tell me. My, you're so aggressive. Fine, I'll tell you. But I'm not, but it's not about you. What I saw, my prophecy is about Zeta. Huh, but my father? Yes, my prophecy states. Gibberish. Zeta must not come across them, for if they meet, misery will befall Zeta. Why? What? No. But your prophecies are 100% accurate. They're never wrong. <laughs> That's right. My prophecies are never wrong. Pram, who is the man in the mention in the prophecy? The one who Zeta should not meet is a demon named Kilia. Kilia? A demon who is wandering around this neighborhood. He's weird, but really strong. If Zeta encounters him... Oh no! We have to hurry up and do something! <laughs> As per usual, I love the saying. Excuse me, are you Kilia? I love the saying that the path people take to avoid their destiny is usually the closest, uh, the shortest way to it, uh, to reach it. And this is probably going to show that. Yeah, what do you want with me? I'm Overlord Zeta's daughter, Peta. Overlord Zeta has a daughter? I'm sorry, but I, but for sure notice, but I need, for the short notice, but I need you to vanish. I'll beat you with my father's book. What are you talking about? Here I go! My father could uh, be on his way here as we speak. There's no time to spare. I will eliminate any obstacles in my father's way. Now this song is... If I remember correctly, this song actually is from uh, Makai Wards as well. Even though... I'm drawing a blank on where this, where this song is from specifically in the game. Oh shit! Okay, no. They skill adequately to where you are even in the post game. She has an eclipse wand, unfortunately. And an alloy robot suit. Really? Finally, a new bit badge! Thank you for the bits, Ma. You're awesome, man. Look at that bit batch. You've cheered 10k? Really? Holy shit, man. And thank you for the pride emotes for everyone, man. Makai Kingdom all the way through? I did play all of Makai Kingdom. Or at least I played all the main story. Those are scenarios that are in the game that I did not do, such as finding Laharo and all that stuff. Increase attack of adjacent ally overlord units by 30%. Kind of awesome right there. She has Terra Star and a bunch of others as well. But she has an alloy robot suit. I kind of want that. All you can eat. Get a little closer, please. Also, as your prison. Oh, yeah, future eye. All eyes on the map can use their overload skill one more time. So she can use it twice. Can you get closer? 
Fucking get closer, damn it! You know, I'm just gonna try this. Primitive attack. Thank you for the one bit, Lusorin. You're awesome. Ah, wait, actually, wait. Super Prince is the new bit boss, I think, right? Yeah, he is. <laughs> Didn't even notice that. You? Alright, I can take that. I can take the, the alloy robot suit. Or the chaos orb. This is actually new, and I only have a regular Chaos Orb, so, hmm. Thank you for the five bits, mysterious person. There's so many bits going on. You know, I think I'm gonna take the Alloy Robots again. I think that's unique in a way. I think that is unique, at least. Does anyone else have the ability to, um, uh... That doesn't tell me at all. I don't know if anyone else has the ability to uh, steal easily. Who should I pick? I'm gonna try though at least. Nope, always gonna be 50 50. Fuck! Holy shit! Loth is here! First off, what? Thank you for the thousand bits, Loth. You're awesome, man! I don't know where Lost showed up and reminds everyone that he was the original mage that broke the game for us all those years ago. I'll, I'll flip that coin. Nice. And now... How about Setsuna? Show us that skill. He's strong, just like Bram said. You said I was the, an obstacle in your father's way. What do you mean? Tell me what's going on. I thought you were a ruffian, but you're actually quite a gentleman. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm out of time. Hello, hello. I should open another plan. Please excuse me. Ah, all right, Scott Lord. What was that all about? Davis! Next, it's Zeta's turn. <laughs> there are so you. many bit people are gonna get bit badges soon. And I'm genuinely scared that if anyone ever reaches Bulbum's tier, they're gonna wonder what the fuck is that bit badge? Where would you like to go, dude? Ram. Actually, I, for like a little bit, a, a long time ago, when I played the original game, I could almost do like a Zeta impersonation, but I fucking lost that. I miss it too. Bram, I heard you made a new prophecy. What is it about? Davis! Our prophecy is about you, Zeta. You absolutely cannot meet a guy named Killia. If you do, you are going to be miserable. <sighs> what? <laughs> How oh, ominous. So who is this Kilia? A demon who's wandering around here. He's quiet. He's a quiet guy, but he's very strong. I have to be careful about the prophecy. You know the pun about Zeta and Peta's name, right? They're two of the spells, aren't they? Hmm. What unexpected words from you, the badass overlord. I thought you were going to laugh off this prophecy. What are you talking about? Do you have any idea how much trouble I've been through uh, because of your prophecies? I'm not scared of this worthless demon at Killy at all. I'm worried about your prophecy. That's great. With your power, you, should, you shouldn't be scared of Killia. Weaklings. <laughs> Excellent. I can take down Killia with one move. Then I'm relieved. Hey Zeta, 
Why don't you go defeat Kelly before something bad happens? You're right. It's not like me to wait for something to happen. Fool! I should go pick on STEM. I should go pick the STEM of disaster before it starts into a weed myself. Father, where are you going? Oh, Petta. I'm gonna go defeat some guy named Kilia. What? Kilia? <laughs> it's not like me to wait for something to happen. I'm gonna go across this root, the root of this prophecy. Father, please wait. What are the Petta? I'm busy. I just spotted him over there. If you're gonna go then, you should go that way. <laughs> Hold on, Killia, your fate ends here. Imagine me doing the laugh that he just did. <laughs> now what's gonna happen next? I'm sorry, Father, but I'm doing this for you. I've been looking for you, Peta. Can you tell me more about what you said earlier? I might be able to help. You're such a nice person. Please get a hold of yourself, Peta. Wait, what? You're me. Hello, hello. Yes, hello. I'm I'm you from a different future. Why did you come to the Why did you come from the future? Change the past and my future. In the netherworld I was in, Killia met father, and like Prophecy said, there was a disaster. I knew it. So there will be a disaster. Oh god. That's right. I cannot let something happen like that. Something like that happen. You have to keep these two from meeting. I'm sorry. This is where we say goodbye. And this is for the ne for our netherworld and our for father. I won't go either. Please sacrifice yourself for the future. What is going on here? They give me several versions to fight. All with actually a new... new a new staff as well, actually. And destiny lenses. Okay, actually, that's... So this is the one you want to use, because it's the lowest range one. Alright. <laughs> Don't mind me taking that. Oh, you can eat! Smell you later! We don't need all of these, and... Oh, shit, what? What was that, Super Brinny? Super Brinny, the donation! Bit boss, please! Thank you for that, man! Thank you for the donation, man. You're awesome. And what do you mean, Bibbop, please? What's going on with the Bib Boss? You have the Bib Boss, so I'm pretty sure it is yours, and if you try to make its HP go down or something else, just... No. Over and over. Alright. Making me itchy. Bubbums! We both know you don't need the bid boss. And we both know what day is tomorrow and who might show up. Even if you did, odds are it won't last very long. People so tempting. <laughs> well, Loth is not the bit boss again. And then Dragon again just fucking with them on the one bit. I even said please. <laughs> Put money.
night from that. Who should I pick? Let's see. While Totem Kurith isn't obviously the, one of the better gun skills you can get, this skill is just such a great cameo, or like not even cameo, just like a great animation. I love it. That animation so much. Actually, here I go. Let me see if I can have you try and steal. Only fifty for that destiny lens, but I'm gonna try. But thank you. Thank you. And after that, let's actually use some of these um, uh, skills that I have. Oh look! That's actually statted properly to not actually kill someone! Well, the DLC characters, MDB, do not worry about the DLC characters. They're not mandatory to do for anything. They're just all cameo characters from other Sky games. But they are so fun. They have some amazing things on them, and if you steal from them, like I am doing right now, you can get some pretty awesome things pretty early on. Or actually, mm, I don't know if, how early you can do that, because they skill to where you are in the story and in the post-game too, so... For all I know, maybe finding them later is actually better. Oh yeah, for capturing, she's amazing. Personally, for me, capturing, I went a different route. Because I didn't get into the capturing game that much, I actually had to use my Sage to capture. I also did a well-established thing. I used a megaphone. This weapon has gotten through one of the quests that you can do in the game on the quest log thing. And if you follow the thing of like capturing some number of people, you'll get this. This will just make sure that you catch people for killing them. Kill them no matter what, and it'll be like, you captured a certain amount of them. And it's just kind of amazing. I know that I am still here. How's it going, bums? Thank you for the one bit. Don't do anything too crazy, man. I understand I'm a M MDB. I, I know that very well. I wish I'd gotten it sooner, but... Like, because I didn't have it, and I didn't want to level her up. I just sort of, like, stuck with what I had and loved it. You crazy? Never. I know, right? You're not going to do something so crazy, like... Ever problems. You're not going to go over overboard. This is so sad. This is so sad. You guys and your one bits. <laughs> Thank you so much for all of that, though, man. And everyone just, like, donating even one bit. That's a lot. Or at least not a lot individually, like, we can do math, but... but... Who will pay your abs bill? Ideally, my work, but that depends on them actually giving me good hours to work and do all that stuff, so... There's always a little bit of trouble. All right, now. Let's fight. We know you're not sorry about the notifications at all. I cannot lose. Why? I failed again. Is this okay? But I cannot give up just yet. We ganged up on him, but we still couldn't defeat him. Mysterious person cheered. Thank you, mysterious person. They change the levels of these fights based on your level. MDB is actually changing them based on where you are in the story. Currently, I just finished some, uh, one of the post-game scenarios. And because of that, they changed it up so that way they are uh, beyond what I just did in that um, post-game scenario where they were enemies were level 500. And that's why that happened. What happens if Anonymous kills the bit boss? I actually don't know. I don't think anyone's done that. But MDB, if you look at it, 
if you do a post game or if you do a DLC scenario at the beginning of the game, it will show up as a very low level thing. You can break the game before beating chapter one, before beating chapter not one, I think two or three when you get the item world. That is the gateway to break the game in half, right there if you put the time to it. And the DLCs will not be a level higher than the chapter. That's kind of how it is. When a girl in there was, some, uh, they were 20s and 40 level. Yeah. It will try to scale up a little bit from there to give you a proper challenge, but they are not exactly all that well uh, balanced. Actually, I don't even want to say that. They're pretty balanced for the level that you that you find them in, just that they scale very sharply for what the end of that chapter will get will throw at you. So if you do it at the beginning of the chapter, you'll be seeing what the final boss of the chapter is going to like be in terms of level. If not that exactly, a little bit above it. And that's why they might feel like a bit of a spike. Because when I did it in the story, it was like, we're facing level, like, I'm a 50s, alright? Then it goes to level 80s, oh shit. That kind of things. Chia negative 50. You can't take money from me, but Veggie Timis, not like that at least. Is the mis misery of that prophecy speaking uh, speaks of my father losing? Excuse me. I have to stop the prophecy from coming true. Prophecy. Is that the key to resolving this? And then unknown future. The last one of the series of this uh, DLC scenario. Zeta! <laughs> I finally found you, Kilia. I'm busy. What do you want with me? <laughs> I hope you don't regret talking to me. I'm the badass freaking overlord. Zeta. Like that. You overlord Zeta. Fool. Now you understand the situation you're in. <laughs> but it's too late. I'll show you. No, Father, wait. You can't interact with Kilia. Better go away. Now we'll protect you, Father. Four petas? What's going on here? <laughs> you look flustered, Zeta. Look at Zeta fluster. I read that wrong. Fram! Is this the, is this the misery that your prophecy foretold? Maybe. Prophecy only said misery. I failed at this rate, Father. will be miserable. Hello, hello. It's too soon to give up. I won't go easy. She's right. We have to erase Kelly before the prophecy becomes reality. Here I go. Now this song I know from Makai Kingdom. This is the one I remember. Like, it's sort of the generic battle theme, and I still love it. Everyone, thank you so much. This is for Father. I won't give up. Hey, look. Aroundite is just right there. I want it so much. But he's gonna magic change in my peta. And that's a sword. If I remember correctly, right? Or am I wrong in that? I feel like she magic changes into a sword. Apollo staff. I don't think I got that one, actually. Oh, well, these ones are circle wands and fortunas. Can I change? All right. I was scared that it was going to manage to change into um, uh, something that for Zeta, so that way he can't, uh, so I can't actually steal that sword, because I want it. And I'm fucking taking it, whether he likes it or not. Want to talk for Pram? Yeah, Pram is interesting with that ability. If it all attacks for two turns. Not only that, just this thing is amazing. Frost Dragon. But MDB? Funny thing, I have nothing to fear on the stage. Not a goddamn thing. Look at my stats. I have nothing to fear. Wait, someone did what? <laughs> the bit boss is an anonymous cheer! 
How did I not imagine that? The ghost is scaring me! <laughs> well, that's kind of amazing. I wish there was a way for me to actually... Okay, no, not even Stringhouse will tell me who did that. So it's just whoever did it, fucking did it. I go try to take me to an anonymous cheer uh, Twitch stream. God, that's fucking crazy. Let me see Fortuna. I don't care about that. The circle wand, I'm pretty sure that's not exactly something I want to steal, so I'm actually kind of okay with this. Get the ones hidden away on the island. MDB, I don't need to worry about hidden on the island stuff. I literally have a, a, a person that can hit everyone on the map. Land decimator is a skill gotten by a sage. You get a sage by jumping through a lot of hoops. But when you do, it will hit everyone. It has infinite height, infinite range. But a 50% max hit chance. It will level the playing field. Hitting enemies and allies alike. Make sure you're doing one out there if you do it. But I fucking love it. But alright, I want that sword, so I'm gonna use him, uh, probably Alyssa. Because she's the one that has 100% uh, steal. And I'm, I'm kind of loving this. They actually have stats for making sure that I can't one-shot them anymore. Actually, I didn't even check what his overload, w or overload skill was. Summon, uh, bl uh buildings and increase the dispatch number by five. Hmm. All right, then. The Fatal Slash ability. Yep. My land decimator thing was done a bit differently. As you notice, a lot of these characters have interesting names. All of them were made by people in chat. If you can tell, Mad Alice's character was made by Mad Alice. And as such, they decide what everything they have, including abilities. Mass Blaster, Twin Head, Fighting Spirit, Printing Structure is there by my own choice. Magical Training as well for Filler and Casting Mastery. I probably should take a while Printing Structure because I'm not grinding anymore so I can put some other stuff. But right now Fighting Spirit is the one thing that he put on his own along with Twin Heads. So that way just he, they double cast their magic. So how am I going to... Actually de Deadly Hurdles, why not? It will nearly kill them. Please switch for any magic. Uh and one to combat high. Alright, we will do. Because I'm already done with the grinding at the moment, so yeah, I should do that. Oh yeah, I understand that, Amal Told Wrath. I did that actually when I originally played the game on, on PS4, I believe. But for this one, we have done something, or Matt has chose to do something different, so we're following that. I'm scared. How about... Did I do it? Why not? I'm trusting they're not going to go into melee range against me, so that's what I'm banking on. I think I'm a bit closer. That missed, anyways. You have, a, you have actually a shiny Apollo staff and overload armor. So that could be worth taking. How far away can I steal? From very far away. What about a bandit hand? That's good enough.
Magic change is viable. Do not think that it isn't. It is one of those strange things because magic change has properties that you would not expect if you have not played a Sky game and have it as a reference material. Magic change turns the the person that you select, demon or the, like that, into the into the weapon. That does more than just give them stats. It will give them the ability that they have. So, for example, if I were to magic change him uh, instead of someone else, then that character would now have the good fortune skill, increasing their stats based on the bonus gauge. This is pivotal for some monsters, considering that, for example, the Nekomata has a skill that says if someone's left 10% HP, go and attack again. Other ones say, like, they're immune to ally damage. Other ones say they do this and that. That is one of the main reasons that you will magic change in general, at least in, in the game. As for benefits beyond that, enemy or monster that are magic changed get a portion of the experience, mana, and all that when the person that's wielding the weapon destroys some, uh, kills someone. That is actually how I grinded this, this entire thing. I turned everyone into a monster, and I had my ma uh, sage start using Gland Decimator on certain maps to just, like, destroy everything and grind. Oh yeah, it's the same. That's right. My apologies. So, Magic Chain of Slime for a caster? There are a lot of interesting combinations. For example, Kula right here has one where increased stats of ally units on the map by 3%. Not exactly useful, but there's something. Has another one on as well. Where C recovers 10% HP SP every turn. For the demon that did, gave him this one, you could do that. Or those kind of things. Just constantly change it. Do whatever you want, because it's kind of amazing. As for you, the Apollo Staff is kind of what I want. Maybe the Orcalcum Shields? Actually, the Orcalcum Shields could be something good. So, bandit hand on you. Give me that staff. <laughs> Pony because it's rare. After that, Lady Toms. Show them why I love the dancer class in Fire Emblem. Get me another turn. I could get the overload armor, which is. Hmm? That testament is actually pretty weak. Well, the orb is all right. Overlord armor is 1312 defense. That's actually kind of okay. Let me check you, Peta. Because you have the Apollo staff, which is... Eh, to be honest, it's not the best staff, I think. Or how come shield is actually... 1219. Okay, no, the Overlord armor is actually better. I'll grab that. Now, I want to do this carefully so that I don't accidentally kill them. I want to make sure that I don't aggro Zeta too early and then just, like, it's done. Oh, that's right! Pram's my ability. Oh, no, not an ability. It's just, like, she has uh, 99 water res, so you're actually one of the worst people ever to do against this. I forget which game she had a different ability at all. She's not an Overlord either. Sean's on us, though. All right, see you, Matt Alice. Thanks for stopping by. See you when you get back. You know what? Have Jessica. Jessica will help with that with this. Sword Inferno. Okay, more of this. Alright, now let's do this on you. And that combination on you as well. Such an over-the-top skill and I love it. I do love the animation so much. It's full of them and I love them for it so much. 
Destiny Lundas are actually a pretty nice thing to get as well. So hold up. All right, I want this sword, Zeta. Thank you. Aside that. You, I want Dusty Nellons because they're legendary, or er, not legendary, rare. I... And let's see what they're going to do. This okay? Goddamn Terra Stars every single time. You have a count. You have one counter and actually procced. All right. Go for her. Mine. Actually, wait. This might be bad. Make sure I'm not actually going to. Okay, no. Properly there. I will throw out. Oh, damn it, I'm one off. Fuck it, let's get over here real quick to make this look a bit fancy. There we go. Are you using custom curry that cook for 100 days? I, I am MDB. I'm using the curry that gives everyone 100% crit chance all the time. Hundred fist tea. Yep. It's a well-known one because it's just that good. Get some Top Gun in here. Let's see if he killed himself. I'm the or use the good skill. Yep, killed himself. <laughs> He's definitely worthy of being the badass frickin' overlord. <laughs> You're pretty good, too. Be able to last this long against me. Overlord Zeta, can we put this fighting on hold? What are you talking about? I won't let this, end ma this match end in a draw. Ah, it's shaking. Why? The temple's about to collapse because of the fight. I didn't expect this to happen. Excuse me. I'll protect you, father. Here I go. This okay. What happened? We went back in time. This is the another world before that incident happened. We performed a large scale time shift. I was afraid I was gonna uh, was gonna be able to I wasn't gonna be able to do it, but I'm relieved. Are you all okay? Yes, I'm I'm fine, father. Alright. 
Why did you interfere? What would I do if anything happened to you guys? But I was worried about you. Who do you think your father is? It's me, Zeta, the badass overlord. I can protect myself. Believe in your father. I'm sorry. But that skill was splendid. You truly are my daughter. Due to your actions, I'll forgive you this time. Keep working hard. Father, thank you very much. Davis! It's a happy ending. Thought it would get a little more interesting. Of the prophecy will be a happy one. Are you trying to imply something? Got a problem with my prophecies? If that really is a prophecy, then I've got nothing to say about it. You seem like you know everything. Are you going to give me a lecture? I don't intend to. However, you shouldn't use the word prophecy so liberally. Excuse me. Kelly, I'm sorry for causing so much trouble for you. We were trying to ha so hard to stop this fight. You should have stayed out of it. No, Kilia! Our fight isn't over yet. Since we started it, it won't be satisfied until we finish it. Father, you're not done yet? Weaklings! Of course not! <laughs> Do you want to finish the battle here? Here is fine, but you're exhausted. It wouldn't be any fun to defeat you in this condition. Kilio, become my ally. Then you can then you can fight me whenever you want. However many times you want. You're helpless, father. Killy, I beg you. But Is this okay? Plus I think we can Wow, I'm about to oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, fuck, why did I yawn? Plus, I think I can help you help you too, Killia. Is there anything bugging you? We're we're in badass overlord Zeta's party. We guarantee well, we can handle anything that comes up. Is this fine? Right, father? Allies are supposed to help each other. Yeah, that's right. Pleased to meet you. See, even father is saying that. Kilia, let's become allies. You truly are the daughter of the badass overlord. Now, there, now that the prophecy is done, with, uh, with that, there's no reason for me to turn you down. Kilia became allies with Zeta and Peta. Is this okay? Come on, you too, Pram. Damn it! I don't agree with this, but I have no choice. You better be grateful. And Pram as well. I won't go easy. Kilia, fight me with all your might! What kind of prophecies did you make this time? <laughs> I don't know. And like that. Let's fix you up. Oh yeah, I remember they botched their mobile game pretty fucking hard. Now... Wrong one. Actually, no, it might have been there. I don't think it was this one? Nope. That one. Stab it. Uh, but is this better than the than sparking from Disgaea 4? Or was it glittering? No, it's sparking. Sparkling. Oh, Carol, that's the theme for the first battle? Demon's party or Sabbaths? I just fucking love sparkling so much from this guy at four. I'm not. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. The 
entertainment party? I'm gonna keep it on this until we do the next DLC. Which reminds me. Let me make sure. Oh, you're dead. Why is Plein Air dead? And yet still able to... Oh shit, you're right, research. That's correct. What? They're still running around right there. Patriot Garden apparently is running to a snag. What's going on with you guys? I would just declare war, attempting to ambush the rabbit, defeated the rabbit. Rabbits are just declaring war left and right. What? I'll follow the DLC as uh, as playable character. Playable character? No. Mid boss as a cameo up. thing, I would have loved. It would have been kind of awesome. Where would you like to go, dude? Did I already get the next scenario or no? I did not. I'm gonna beat this one day. Just ugh, it's gonna take some time. All right, Alatoras. How about, uh, pursue powerful energies? What's this one gonna be? Yeah. <sighs> Out of curiosity, how much? Sardines! 280 million. The ability that I can in a second, sure. I challenge you all. Sardines. Just give me seconds to get out my sage. Here you are. Actually, might as well. Did I do it? My eyelids are getting heavy. Me. This is the end. You wanna eat together? And done. And I own the life to say no, so we this win. Be good. Possessed by the heart is now available. But Angelo, whose abilities do you want me to check? Your actually I don't even think you have Let's a character, so whose? But actually I will do one for uh Scott Mathis because they wanted me to change it. Because printing structure is done, no need to get and we can get rid of that now. And magic training, we don't need that anymore, pretty much at all. And Caster Master, let's get rid of that, and fuck. Angelo, you're asking me to go through every single one, because again, she has mastered all the classes. She has every ability able to be bought. What the hell do you want me to find? So that actually is kind of awesome for Recycle Spirit. Those stat numbers, VG Timmons, yup. Those stats are pretty good, but they are nowhere near enough to do what we need to do. Soft toughening and the always counter. Wait, what do you mean always counter? This is Mad Alice. Softening aura and always counter. That. I'm actually not sure where the where the counter one is. Staff Master 4. Oh, I see what you're trying to get me to do. That's this is for increasing a uh, weapons mastery. That's right, gotcha. But where is the um, uh, always counter one? Force counter, discs. That's focus bomb, not force counter.
Wait, I passed? Fuck, I did! I don't see it. That's Power Axe. From the Fight Mistress. Alright, so that would be... Gotta go, alright, thanks, not my super friendly. See you, man. Oh, there it is, Force Counter. I'm just blind as fuck. Let's check what stuff is. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. But let's see, for Mad Alice. They wanted fighting him a uh, spirit and. I forgot which other one they wanted. Let me go scroll up a bit to find Perm. Combat high, that's what it was. Alright. Combat high, there it is. Increase attack by units defeated by yourself and allies times 10%. That is kind of insane. And then we'd still keep uh, Casting Master if we wanted as well. Let's see. Possessed by heart. Dark second coming. 